afternoon, everybody. Today I'm going to be ch showing you guys a tour of my grandpa's 2013 Volkswagen Beetle Fender Edition. For those who have been early subscribers, I thank you so much. But uh, speaking of early subscribers, you may actually notice this car or recognize this car. Um, I've done a couple of videos on this car. Did a test driving video last week and uh, thought today uh, I'd do a second review of it. Let's go ahead and get started on this 2013 Volkswagen Beetle. The Beetle does include Volkswagen's smart key access system. So, uh, here. You have to have the key with you. I'll put it in my pocket. Yeah, if you have the key with you. I have to wait a second. Another feature I should point out with the Beetle is when you unlock it, the windows will roll down slightly since there's no frame. And when you lock it, the windows will roll up. Uh, exclusive to the Fender Edition, the Beetle does come with a black exterior with a very beautiful black leather interior. Very comfortable seat in. It does have push to start. All you have to do is put your foot on a brake and press and hold the button to start. So, this is the thing with the Volkswagens. When you do push to start, you have to press and hold until it starts. I'll demonstrate. So, foot on the brake. Beautiful. You have your full leather up steering wheel. You do have some stitching. And go ahead and count the headlights. Close the hazard. Both front photos are fully automatic. Let's go ahead and check out the exterior now, shall we? Should point out the vehicle will also chirp a, li a little bit at you. With loss detection of its proximity key fob. Another thing that's exclusive with the Volkswagen Beetle Fender Edition it is included with chrome mirrors. Another thing exclusive to the Fender Edition is on both sides of the Beetle, there is a little Fender Edition logo on near the front of the car. LED daytime running lights, and that flickering is just a trick of the camera. But for headlights, you do have your bi Xenon projector beam headlights. Inclusive to both sides. And on the bottom here, you do have your standard halogen turn signal indicators. And you have a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. I do not think that the Fender has a turbo, as far as I know. gas cap very convenient in the back you do have LED headlighting with standard halogen turn signal indicators and your LED brake lighting all right on a beetle here you do have your two front window uh, automatic window controls your door opener, master lock, and your mirror controls. Now, something you're gonna notice is there's no uh, frame. Uh, that's a popular thing with both coupes. So there's only half of the door uh, when you have the window down. Now, that's no problem because Volkswagen did not have a frame built into the door for when they built the vehicle. And you do have fully manual power seats. All right, let's go ahead and hop back in. Close the door. Ooh. 
looks like the Beetle has 6,343 miles on it. That is super low for a seven-year-old car. You do not have a garage home link included with any with most Volkswagen, so you're gonna have to buy one when you get your garage opener uh, built into your garage. Interior illumination. And you're probably gonna notice the roof doesn't open up, uh, only opens up halfway at the first uh, because of the body style. Here, I'll show you. So you can see the roof is open as far as I can go. The roof can't go any farther than it is because of the books of the Beatles' uh, curvy body style because uh, it's not gonna end well. Uh, uh, Volkswagen thought of that and I'm glad they did. And while I'm out here, I should also mention that you do have a little windscreen that'll pop up when you open the roof. And as most vehicles out there today, you do have a tilt feature. Just press the little silver button. And exclusive to the Fender Edition Beetle, you do have your Volkswagen Fender Premium Audio System with the touchscreen included. For your climate controls, it's just your good old dial controls. I should also mention, with the Volkswagen Beetle, your three options for transmissions are a six-speed automatic transmission, a six-speed DSG dual-clutch automatic transmission, or a six-speed automated manual transmission. This transmission is a six-speed automatic transmission, and if you're wondering, DSG stands for direct shift gearbox, which is Volkswagen's gear shifter or transmission, um, which is only optional with Volkswagen brands like Volkswagen. Audi, Bugatti, Lamborghini, and much more. The top speed for um, the Beetle is 160 miles per hour, which is pretty good, actually. Cannot lie. Your sun visor. No vanity lights included in the Beetle because it's such a small vehicle. It is a sliding visor, as far as I know. What about you? No, it's not. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but it does fold out like that, as most vehicles would, as you would expect. All right. Let's go ahead and shut her down. I'm gonna go check out the hood. And I should also mention, you do have a little storage. You're probably wondering how you get in the back. Now, as you would expect in a coupe, there is no back doors. So instead, uh, you would fold the seats like this. And you get pretty easy access to the back. So uh, the seat is as far back as it can go. I'm around five foot one. And I have about maybe three, four, or five inches of leg room, which is pretty good. But however, I said I'm five foot one, and I have about a foot or so of headroom, which is pretty good. Uh, that's exceptional. Um, now probably. Uh, the back seats will be used for storage, which is really possible, so you could fold down these seats uh, for more trunk space. And now, obviously, you're going to need something back here, so you do have one cup holder, and also you do have a 12-volt car charger. Volkswagen Beetle is for all trims included with a manual power trunk. But however, a cool feature is with the black logo, you could open the trunk by pulling this up and it will unlock the trunk and you could open it like that. So you can see that the trunk hood is really huge. It's really big. Um, it's pretty cool. Now, of course, you do need to have a speaker in the back. After all, this is a Fender Edition. I do know the name. I just can't remember it, uh, but I've heard the name before. But like I said, uh, you don't have, I mean, you got some room, but uh, you get tons of room if you fold it down those back seats. So that's 
definitely going to give you a lot more room. Now, of course, if you wanted to open up the key, you do have that. Just press and hold. But it's easier to use the logo. It's a lot more convenient also. Now, on a side, also, you do have smart key access. So manual power seats, and as, as same as the other door. The Beetle has really good noise cancellation. It's amazing. Let's make sure I'm not gonna get locked in here. Pretty massive glove box, so you could fit a ton of stuff in there. And you fold in sun visor. That is not slidable. I actually just learned that. Well, for that show, you do have a certain console, which isn't that big, but it's something. As I said earlier, the Beetle is included with a 2.5 liter four cylinder. So over here you have your engine, your battery is over here. And on the on this side of the engine, that's where you would place like your um, you're like, like your oil. and I should also mention your hood for all trims of the Beetle. You do it does come with one of these sticks because the hood is really heavy, uh, so it won't be able to hold itself open. So, just to point out, that's what this is for. Well, everybody, hopefully, you enjoyed the tour of my. Uh, Grandpa's 2013 Volkswagen Beetle Fender Edition. We'll take one more walk around of the exterior before we end the video. So as you may know, this is actually going to be my car in a few years. Um, foreshadowing. <laughs> uh, but right now it's my Grandpa's car. Uh, he's going to give it to me when I turn 15, which is just a couple of years. So I'm really excited. Um, so I said this is a gorgeous car. Uh, Fender Edition was only made from 2013 to 2014. Uh, it was a limited edition trim, and the Beetle itself was discontinued on July 10th, 2019. It was very unfortunate. It was the end of a dying breed, and this was the classic Volkswagen. Starting in two, uh, this Beetle has been around since 1938, which is so wild. Just wild. It's been around for over 80 years. For those good 80 years, the Beetle has been purchased by millions of people. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Take care, everybody.